Hey, this is Hedafan about. In this video, I am doing an unboxing of Motorola Moto E 2015. This was launched just five days back. This is brand new and uh, end upgrade of Moto E 2014. The packaging is very simple. The box is small. On this side, pricing and every single detail is mentioned on this side. On the other side, everything is plain. On the back side of the box, specifications are mentioned. You can pause the video and read through them. It is a quad core device. It has 4 GB. It has 4.5 inch of QHD display. It is protected by Gorilla Glass. It is water resistant and so on. Now let us cut the seal open. Now this is the device. It is of black color. There is a protective film on this device's screen. Specifications are written on this also. Now let us keep the device aside and see what else is there in this box. So this is the headset. They are white color even though the device is black. This is charger and it's in white color. I like to cut the wrapper and see the quality. It is different than the other smartphone chargers that I have seen till date. It is connected to a simple cable and to a, not to a USB cable. You have to buy a USB cable separately. It does not come in this package of Motorola. Motorola has tried to keep the packaging as simple and as simple as possible. This is how they are able to cut the prices of the device and uh, it is also a work for you you have to go and uh, buy the usb cable now the rest are the manual let us just see through them and i'll be quiet for a while now these are all the items kept together and now we'll see them one by one in, uh, when they are kept just uh, together alongside themselves here we have the box the charger the headsets the device itself these are all limited accessories in the box they should have provided a usb cable and uh, this is something that i am really disappointed about anyways now we have to spend some extra money on the cable so now let us proceed to the device and have a quick look on it so that we can uh, give a short review on it it is a 4.5 inch device it is uh, black in color it looks like a 4.5 inch device even though it is uh, a 4.5 inch device it looks like uh, just 4 inch device the back has a rubber like feeling to it so on the top here you have a 3.5 mm jack and nothing else on the bottom there is a usb port this is the port where you insert the charging cable on the right side here you have a power button and a volume rocket they are on the same side i love this pattern for many reasons but not one and uh, this is really a good pattern to be there on a smartphone and uh, we can talk about the reasons later this side is completely plain the back of the device has a lovely dimple there is a cool motorola logo there the camera has a metal ring surrounding it there is also a hole near the camera it is either for noise cancellation or uh, uh, for autofocus i don't know we can figure out that out later when uh, we are going to review the device i would also like to add two more cents on the back of the device the back is very sexy and has a rubberized feel to it it is so much smooth that i want to keep touching all the time also there is a band on the end of the device from all the side this is removable and after you remove it you can insert the sim cards and the sd card the battery is non removable now let's remove the protective film wow it looks cool it is protected by a gorilla glass it looks blue it matches the color of the shirt that i am wearing right now now i am starting the device for the first time uh, let us see the time it takes to boot this is the first boot i love this start screen It looks very cool.
it took a very short time to load i am going to go with the english united states this is how the front screen looks like it has no extra application installed this device comes with android lollipop 5.0.2 pre-installed this is the latest os this is how drag down menu works you also have an app drawer the graphics and icons are pretty cool and awesome and uh, good looking and badass for drag down menu you have to click on profile icon this is all you uh, have there there is no auto brightness there you have to adjust the that manually uh, but uh, have to tell that this is the coolest drop down menu i have seen till date now i am going for the settings this is all you have for the settings and so on see through them now let us see the about phone section here a lot of people when they see the device for the first time they go for this section i'll keep a few seconds of gap here so that you guys can read things out on the front of the device you have front speakers uh, you have a vga camera uh, let us use the camera for the first time and see how uh, or take photos there is also some LED blinking on the top of the device. This is not visible to me with the naked eyes, but my camera is catching it. One more thing, this device has menu and back button on the screens itself. So that is it guys. This was a quick review of Motorola Moto E second generation 2015. So I'll meet next time when I count down the top 10 features of the Motorola Moto E 2015 and various other videos on this one. And I'm also going to do a lot of comparison on this device. So stay tuned. Subscribe to my channel for future updates on Motorola Moto E 2015, which are going to come in the next 10 days. And I'm going to compare it with a lot of budget smartphones, which you would think of buying when you were planning to buy a device. So you can get a clear view of what device will be right for you so this is it guys we'll meet next time thanks for watching